The enthalpy change delta H for a reaction and the internal energy change delta U are closely related. Delta U is the more fundamental quantity because it's a measure of all the energy changes that have happened inside the system. Delta H refers only to reactions at constant pressure and it doesn't take account of the expansion work which is included in delta U. Now equations 13.18 and 13.19 are useful for calculating delta H from delta U and vice versa and you'll meet them a lot. You can find their derivation on page 640. Remember delta U equals Q plus W and in equation 13.18 the expansion work term W is taken care of by this expression P delta V where P is the pressure and delta V is the change in the volume of gas. Equation 13.19 is a different form of 13.18 and here the expansion work is taken care of by the term delta N gas RT where delta N gas is the number of moles of gas in the products minus the number of moles of gas in the reactants. It's only the number of moles of gas that matters here because gases have a much larger volume per mole than liquids or solids. If you're given the balanced equation for a reaction and asked to convert between delta U and delta H, you'll find equation 13.19 is the simplest to use because you can work, a, work out uh, delta N gas simply by looking at the equation. Now I'll give you two important tips about using these equations. First, make sure you get the sign right. Very common source of mistakes is putting the wrong sign in here. And the best way to avoid that is just to learn the equations by heart. The other common mistake is getting the units wrong. The P delta V and the delta N gas RT terms will give you an answer in joules per mole. Whereas delta U and delta H are usually given in kilojoules per mole. The safest way to avoid mistakes is to convert your delta H or delta U values to joules per mole at the start. This is yet another example of why you must always give the units as well as the numbers in a calculation.